Good evening, faculty, alumni, students, and special guests. On behalf of the College of Engineering and Science, I'd like to welcome you all to the 88th annual slide award recognition for tonight, the virtual event. We celebrate all the accomplishments of our wonderful alumni, students, faculty, and staff. We encourage you to update your Zoom name to your full name, if it's not already, and uh, to mute yourselves. The slide rule program link is in the Zoom chat, so you can check, click on the link for viewing. To begin the celebration, we welcome Zana Dedvukai to give the invocation. Hi, everyone. As we gather here, physically apart but close at heart, let's take a minute to thank our Heavenly Father for all of his wonders and blessings. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to flourish thus far. Thank you for guiding us in overcoming our obstacles and allowing us to prevail through this pandemic. Surely, with more patience, responsibility, and your will, we will be able to bring this pandemic to an end. Lord, may you watch over our graduates as they continue on with their lives, for they are eager to change the world. Lord, may you steer them and their families away from harm and push them toward success. Dear Lord, may you continue to give us strength and guidance through these trying times. Continue to provide all of the University of Detroit Mercy, students, alumni, and faculty with the perseverance we need to grow in our Titan spirit. Amen. Thank you, Zana, for the wonderful words of encouragement. We'd like to introduce Dean Snyder, who will welcome us on behalf of the College of Engineering and Science. Welcome, everybody, to the 88th Annual Slide Rule Awards. This was supposed to take place uh, last spring uh, when uh, things went a little bit awry. And so we're appreciative of everybody joining us tonight and being flexible to experience slide rule in a new way. This is a tradition, um, obviously being the 88th that has gone on for a number of years. It's a great way for us to honor our, our students and our faculty and others, um, uh, including alums who have really made contributions to the college and to society as a whole. Our Honors Convocation, which is a separate award, tends to focus more on the academic awards. This uh, is a great uh, way for us to celebrate our students um, that have engaged in other things outside of their academics as well as academics and alums that have, have made contributions uh, to their areas um, after graduation. It's great for us to be able to get together, even though this is virtual, it may not be exactly as, as we would have liked it to be, um, but we appreciate you guys willing to come together and find a way to celebrate um, our students and the, the great things that are happening at the College of Engineering and Science. Uh, the, the future is really looking great for the, the college. We have a lot of initiatives going on. Um, we continue to leverage the historic strengths of the co college, of the engagement of our faculty with our students, our experiential learning and our really our, our, our um, commitment to give students um, a, an applied education where they get to see and reflect on uh, what is happening in their disciplines more than just being in the classroom. The student community that we have is very close and supportive of one another, which has been critically important during these unique times. Um, and of course, we have a rigorous um, academic. So we challenge our students, but the supportive environment that we provide means that, that um, we really care about student success while challenging them to be their best. And finally, the fact that we have a mission that challenges us to, to do our best and to look at ways in which we and our students can change the world, make this a unique place uh, to go to school and to work. And we're grateful uh, for that opportunity and to, for this opportunity tonight to be able to celebra celebrate the uh, contributions and the achievements of our students and faculty. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dean Snyder. Now, Dean Carolyn Rimley will present the Alumni All-Star Awards in Biology and Chemistry. The Engineering and Science All-Star Awards 
are bestowed upon distinguished alumni who have, in a variety of ways, contributed to the betterment of their field, the College of Engineering and Science, and or its students. This year's all-star awardee from biology is Dr. Heather Calderon. She graduated from University of Detroit Mercy with a Bachelor of Science with a major in biology in 2003. After her Detroit Mercy degree, she went on to earn her PhD in pharmacology at Wayne State University, studying brain tumor biology at Henry Ford Hospital. Through her experiences, she developed the skills and passion for research administration and is currently the Director of Research and Grants at the American Brain Tumor Association. She has prepared a short video including how her undergraduate research experience at Detroit Mercy impacted her career. Again, congratulations on this award, Heather, and thank you for your contributions to science and our students. Hi, I'm Heather Calderon. I was a biology student, class of 2003. Being a student at Detroit Mercy gave me my first laboratory research experience in the laboratory of Dr. Stokes Baker. The experience changed my career trajectory. I was motivated by curiosity, and to me, doing research meant I could make learning and exploring new ideas into a career. Now I lead a research grant program at the American Brain Tumor Association, where I get to support researchers all over the world through research grants and fellowships and through educational programming for our research alumni. And I still get to learn about new and exciting approaches to treating cancer all the time. As a student at Detroit Mercy, I gave my first research presentation as a poster presentation at a student research symposium. I think I've probably given a hundred or so research presentations by now, but knowing how important that first presentation was to me as an undergraduate, I try to attend Detroit Mercy's student research symposium to judge posters as often as I can. And I hope that through supporting the Student Research Fund, I can help Detroit Mercy create more impactful experiences like my own for more undergraduate students. I am grateful for my undergraduate experience at Detroit Mercy, and I'm honored to have received the All-Star Award. Thank you. Congratulations again, again, Heather, and we're very glad you could join us this evening. Thanks. Sure, thank you. No, I'm really honored to receive this award. Um, it really means a lot to me, and it's a you know it's been wonderful to be engaged with the university, and especially with the research day and, and just supporting the research program. Um, of course, research is my passion, and I'm, it's wonderful to know that it's important to the university as well. So, thank you very much. Thanks again, and congratulations. The 2021 All-Star Award for Chemistry is awarded to Dr. Lisa Whitmer Burson. She earned a Bachelor of Science with a major in Chemistry from the University in 1991. Her additional degrees include an MS in Chemistry and a PhD in Molecular Biophysics and Neuropharmacology from Washington University School of Medicine. She has held senior management positions in both established and emerging companies. Her leadership positions have spanned many specialties within the pharmacology field. She is currently the president and founder and principal consultant at Theo Rogan LLC, a life sciences consulting company, as well as the managing director of LuxFiat Therapeutics. Lisa's contributions to her field are impressive. We congratulate and present Lisa Whitmer Burson with the 2021 All-Star Award in Chemistry. Congratulations and thank you. Yes, I'm really honored to receive this award and uh, want to extend my thanks to those who inspired me both while I was at the university and, and since then, and want to encourage the, the student recipients this evening to make sure that they leverage all the critical skills that they're learning uh, while at the university and tap into the alumni network to the fullest extent possible because we absolutely love uh, helping graduates as they develop in their uh, graduate studies and in their careers. Thanks, Lisa. Great advice to our current students. Dean Hill will now present the Alumni All-Star Awards in Mathematics civil engineering, and mechanical engineering. Thank you, Dean Rimley. So this year's alumni all-star in the Department of Mathematics is Mary Klupp. 
Mary graduated from the University of Detroit with a Master of Arts in Mathematics in 1975. In her over 30 years at Ford Motor Company, she applied her knowledge of mathematics to a range of engineering, marketing, and forecasting problems, including serving as Ford's first, Ford's first futures manager, having responsibility for identifying consumer trends in the auto industry. Since leaving Ford, Mary has brought her talents to academia at Oakland Community College and Eastern Michigan University. We congratulate Mary Clough on this recognition and have a short video from her where she shares how her time at the university has influenced her life. My name is Mary Freeman Clough, and I graduated with a master's degree in mathematics in 1975. Looking back at my time at the university, two things really stand out. First were the opportunities that were available to me as a student. During my first year, I worked at the University Computer Center. I didn't know anything at that time, but I worked with some very knowledgeable and some very patient people who taught me their coding methods and how an IT department really runs. For my second year, I was one of the graduate teaching assistants in the math department. And not only did the faculty guide us in our teaching assignments, we were able to help them in their research studies. What an experience to be able to take an idea create and test hypotheses, come to a conclusion, write it all up, and then submit it for peer review and publication. All of these experiences at really such a young age were a great foundation as I started my career. But a university is more than just classes and papers. It's about the people. And that's the other thing that stands out at Detroit Mercy. At work, it's very common to run into other Detroit Mercy grads, and the connection is immediate and has been very, very helpful. I've also met Detroit Mercy grads in my neighborhood, at the schools that my kids attended, and in other organizations I've been a part of. This common element, being a Detroit Mercy alum, is certainly an asset and one that no one can take away from us. Well, I also am very happy um, that we, we actually are getting to do this after a, a year of waiting. Um, I'm very thankful to the university. And I would really encourage the students. Uh, I know these times are really, you know, really wrought with uncertainty, uh, but you will have, and you will have the, the background and the skills to really be successful. So you know, look positive and things will get better. Thanks for those encouraging words, Mary. We all need to hear that. Yes, they will get better. Thanks and congratulations. Congratulations, Mary, and thank you for being here this evening. Our next awardee is from being recognized by the Department of Mecha Mechanical Engineering, Dr. Mahmoud Ghanem. Dr. Ghanem has three degrees from Detroit Mercy, all in mechanical engineering, having earned his bachelor's in 1992, his master's in 1993, and his doctorate in 1998. With over 20 years of experience with Ford Motor Company, Dr. Ghanem has been awarded over 300 patents and has risen to be a technical expert in research and advanced engineering. Since graduating, Dr. Ghanem has stayed close to the university as an adjunct professor, as well as serving as an external committee member for multiple PhD students. In recognition of his contributions to the field and college, we present Dr. Mahmoud Ghanem, the 2021 Alumni All-Star Award in Mechanical Engineering. Likewise, I'm really honored and, uh, for this, with this uh, award. And I really appreciate that. And uh, it's, uh, it's really, I could say, the first time I heard about the University of Detroit Mercy, and matter of fact, it was in uh, my undergrad, a graduate, a graduate student at university at, uh, in Palestine. And I came to know about the University of Detroit from another alumni who, who was a graduate from, UF, uh, from uh, UFD at that time. And it's very interesting now, I, uh, I didn't re realize how much uh, UFD is basically worldwide because I get to know people in Palestine to tell me, you know, to, uh, to come to know about U uh, UFD and uh, now, wherever I go, in, uh, whether at work or anywhere else, won't be surprised to find another alumni and other friends from UDF, uh, 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 UDM. And uh, to my education, uh, what you know, I would say about for the students is uh, the moment I got 
a graduate from you uh, from uh, from the University of Detroit Mercy and I got my job I did not have any problem to just get the ground and run and start you know do and perform and actually to exceed performance and I'm happy with my education with my experience and uh, uh, thanks again for this award and this opportunity Thank you, Mahmoud, and, and thanks for the reminder that Detroit Mercy alum are in lots of places all around the world. Congratulations. The final Alumni All-Star Award is from the Department of Civil Engineering, uh, recognizing Leslie Zawada. So Leslie graduated from the University of Detroit Mercy with a Bachelor of Civil Engineering in 1998 and began her career at Giffels Webster Engineers before founding her own civil engineering and surveying consulting firm, Civil Engineering Solutions in 2011. During the over 20 years of her career, Leslie has designed, reviewed, and managed the construction of hundreds of infrastructure projects, including roads, water mains, parks, and much more. For her impressive contributions to the field, we congratulate and present Leslie Zawada the 2021 Alumni All-Star Award in Civil Engineering.